My name is Kevin Miguel Rivera. I'm a member of the Puerto Rico Bar Association. I preside, I'm the chair of the Death Penalty Commission of the Puerto Rico Bar. The situation in the Caribbean is a little bit complex. You know that there are uh, different cultures, um, and different, not only the island, but it's the whole basin, the whole Caribbean basin, that it, it's, it's a lot of, lot of land. It, it is part of the uh, Central America, South America, and all the islands in the Caribbean. So that's what, why, what is the Caribbean Basin. And we want to use that type of definition when we are reaching the, the, this, uh, this topic. The theme of the, of the death penalty in the Caribbean, it's complex as well. You, have, you, can, you can have a little division between the Spanish-speaking Caribbean and the English-speaking Caribbean, but it's not that easy. Um, the Caribbean counts for at least 25% of the votes against the moratorium uh, in, the, in the votes for the, the moratorium of the death penalty in the United Nations. So it's a huge amount of votes. Then you have also a big problematic there. It's the crime rates. And I come from Puerto Rico, we have a big, a very big uh, crime rate. And I know that many other um, islands in the Caribbean uh, do. So in terms of, of crime rates, and the amount of votes in the UN, you have a, a big topic when we are um, speaking about death penalty in the Caribbean. Some of them, they are very actively against death penalty in international organisms, and there are others that they are also active uh, for the death penalty. And there are others that they just don't have the death penalty, or they have it, but they don't use it, mm -hmm. like Cuba. Cuba, there's been 10 years, they don't use the death penalty and they don't have anyone in death row. Uh, but there are other small islands that they have the death penalty, they are trying to use it, and there are judiciary organisms um, that they are not maybe from the same um, country that they are stopping those, uh, those uh, sentences. So it's, it's very complex, there's no one answer, and maybe that's the richness of the Caribbean region and when we are dealing with the death penalty in the Caribbean, you, the word is complexity. So as a, an activist against the death penalty, as a lawyer, what can you do with um, other organizations in the region? What are you doing to uh, make progress against the death penalty in the Caribbean and how can people outside the region in the rest of the world help you? There is now a new Caribbean network. It is the Greater Caribbean for Life Network. And it was greater, created by Caribbeans uh, with the help of international um, countries or international organizations. And right now, I think that the best option for this international movement, international governments, or international organizations is to give the tools to the people in the region to develop uh, their own organizations in their countries, and of course, to be to develop this this network. But first of all, information, information and education. People in in, in the in, in the retentionist countries, they they need to know that there is no no relationship between the, the crime rate and the death penalty that they can tackle uh, the, the the crime rates uh, by other means. Um, I come from, from a place that we have a great um, criminal rate and, and I know that because I live it and I know that respecting the life of others is going to be the best message for those others to respect our lives also.